Hey there, I'm Nancy Hicks. A friend recently asked me, hey Nancy, in, in uh, light of Easter coming up, would you do that thing that you do where you explain why Jesus matters? So I thought I'd do that for you this morning. You know, there are really four major points in the Bible. Point number one is that we were created, all humanity creation was created to be in relationship with God. And it's a God of the Judeo-Christian Bible, the book of Genesis talks about this. Everything was good and we were created to be in relationship with God. Point number two is that that relationship was ruptured. Sin entered into the world. Now I want to show you something. I don't know that many people would dispute that things aren't as they ought to be. That's why we sort of, we long for things to be different. When Belgium was attacked and we heard it on the news this morning, we instinctively, we feel like, ah, oh, that shouldn't be. And that's exactly right. But that's, uh, uh, that is the earth under the curse of sin. So let me show you that. The scriptures say, that the wages, the cost of sin in the beginning when Adam and Eve said, we're going to go our own way, we're going to do our own thing, that's sin. The wages, the cost of sin, and sin is not only going our own way, God says, this is the good and right way. We say, eh, rather do it my own way. Um, or it's the things that we do. Uh, it's the things that we don't do, like serving the poor. It's the thing, the attitudes that we have in our hearts, like, you know, I'll do this for you, but inside I'm thinking, you're a real jerk. Wages of sin is death. Now let me show you death. Death is separation from a holy and perfect God who is life. This is Nancy, right here. And death, sin separates us from God who is perfect and good and holy. That's death. But the scriptures say, but, and every time you see a but in scripture, something, a contrast is coming. The wages of sin is death. That's bad news. But the gift, what's a gift? A gift is something you receive. You didn't pay for it, but somebody did. This gift is of God. And again, it's the God of the scriptures, uh, God the Father, God the Son, and Jesus, and um, the Holy Spirit, God the Holy Spirit. The gift of God is eternal life. I won't draw, write the whole word down, but eternal life. And that is through Jesus Christ, the cross. Jesus Christ lived the life we should have lived. He died the death we should have died. He was the perfect sacrifice. He lived that perfect life we never could live. Died the death we should have died. And then rose from the dead. He, has the, he had the power to rise from the dead, which conquered sin and made that way back to God. He, Jesus Christ, offers the gift. Jesus is, in fact, the gift. And so what we say is that in the beginning, there was creation and everything was good. Um, then there was a breach in the relationship, a rupture in the relationship. Number two is that point. And then three is that Jesus, God, had a solution to the sin problem, and it was Jesus who lived the life we should have lived, died the death we should have died, and then rose from the dead. We could not have done that, but he did it. That's what Easter is, Jesus rising from the dead to conquer sin and death on our behalf. And then the fourth point is that Jesus Christ will come back again. Because you look around and you say, well, not everything is perfect. Just because Jesus rose from the dead doesn't mean that everything is perfect. You're absolutely right. Jesus will come again. The Bible says that God's patience means salvation. More and more people are understanding this gift that can be yours today. All you do is receive the gift and ask Jesus to be the forgiver of your sins and the leader of your life. And that can happen in a moment. You will celebrate Easter far more fully when you understand the gift is for you. And one day, the fourth point in the scriptures, one day he will return and all things will be made new. Then everything, we, we will be back in relationship with God. Tears will be wiped away. No more, no more bombs. No more terrorist attacks. The lambs and the lions will lie down together. We will be with God and God will be with us. And it will be again and for all time good. That is the story of the Bible. That is why Easter is a big deal. That is the gift he offers to you today. God bless you.